you did bring up your la your last chick. Something happened on Fez's last day, uh, but it was after the show. Uh, and we've never brought this up on the air, but I need to. So uh, we were all just sitting around here after the show once. And Fez says, uh, somehow you brought up your uh, past girlfriend. Right. And uh, Fez says to you, you're not getting back together, right? Right. Definitely not getting back together? Definitely not. This is I'm playing the part of Fez. No way are you getting back together. I am not getting back together. So then Fez says something that's always been on his mind. I'll let you say it, Fez. I could never stand to eat. To, what, to eat <laughs> what? at the same table with your former girlfriend. What? It used to <laughs> gross me out beyond reason. Watching I, that girl eat. And you're sure you're not getting back together with her I because I would never bring it up if I thought there was a chance. I'm positive, but why wouldn't you mention this to me, to my face, while we were going well, out? You know, I don't think that you would say that to no. anybody. And, why not? And you remember the one time we went out to eat just for desserts for ice cream, and I made a comment about her, and right. she never got over it. You never got over it. Why would none, I... None of the women at the table got over it. Yeah, yeah, it, that's still there. So why would I bring up something else, the fact that she gnaws at food like a rat. <laughs> that mean like nice. a rat face. Well, I think that's been a little harsh. You could do an impression for me, how she eats. Okay. All right. Like, let's say, we used to go to that burger place, remember? Yeah. So here she is holding a hamburger. All right. <laughs> She's holding it with both paws. With You know how, like, a squirrel holds on to something? Yeah. All right. She's holding on to it with both hands, and... It's very tiny bites, and her nose kind of curls up, and her brow, not her brow doesn't furrow, but like her eyebrows go down into a mean look whenever she takes these tiny, tiny bites, and then it's a tremendous amount of chewing afterwards. So you're saying she gnaws. She gnaws. <laughs> like in a your... rat face, she gnaws. <laughs> Mr. B, did you notice this? I will tell you the truth, no. <laughs> I don't know what to believe. Yeah. Oh, but... it used to just, and I would have to look away, and I, I... My only problem is the time that she chewed her way through our baseboards, <laughs> and she was living behind the wall. She never did that. <laughs> Didn't she? No. Fez, the, you could have said simply, you know, how I about opening that mouth <laughs> like a human? Yeah. Or how about, you know, I don't want to go out to eat dinner with you guys well, or something. Gonna, you know, we only, uh, uh, as far as I know, it was a day uh, with ice cream and one time she stopped at the diner with us. Yeah, uh, that was enough. And those two days yeah, freaked I'm, you out. Yeah. There's been more times than that, I'm sure. But those, that's. No, a, I, I went over this in my head. Really? Because I've been obsessed with it. And when I tried to tell my chick the story, I couldn't even finish it. I was laughing so hard. And finally, I had to go like this. You just give me a pen and a paper. I'll write it down for you. But the fucking writing was all screwed up because I'm laughing while I was writing it. The burger day is when I really noticed it. And, all right, so that's when she, like, picks something up and eats with her hands, like a burger. Yeah. Then there's this whole kind of, whenever it's a fork deal, it's kind of like this. She'll st She'll have something with a fork. And then kind of like bite it off the, instead of the fork going into her mouth, you know, and yeah. pulling the food off like humans do. It's kind of like a. a what bite did you at say her eat with a fork? What did you say? Uh, it might have been like a bar nine night or something because I've seen her eat even when I wasn't eating. Nobody uses a fork at bar nine. <laughs> well, she, she was eating uh, with her fork or spoon at the ice cream shop that we went to. That must have been it. So maybe that or having was her it. coleslaw or something. <laughs> Oh, it just used to gnarl me to no end. That's very upsetting, Why though. wouldn't you have told me? Like, just, <laughs> hey, make sure you're watching her. Because she's such a sensitive type. When you told me this after the and, show, I, I it was the funniest guy. fucking thing it I've heard. <laughs> because he's saying, the person that you were with uh, gnarled me and made me sick to be around her in a, in a food social s setting. It almost felt like Fizz took on a totally different identity. Like it was like a Tyler Durden situation. Let me fucking tell you I, something, My bro. reality was shot. That's the real Fez. The one, <laughs> this fucking anti-woman, things that women do, what they smell like, what they do with their hair, that's the real Fez. That's a shame. Yeah. This gnawing thing, it to me, I don't know what, it, you know, everyone else, they eat and it just seems like a natural process. No other people gross you out. Not that comes to mind like that, where I just had you know wanted to look away. Right. But 
you know, with her, it's like eating was so mechanical and like such an effort, like almost like the I, food it, was being forced down her throat. I, is, was it mechanical or more rat-like? I need to know this. Or was it like a robotic rat? It was so. It was so much effort. There was so much chewing, so much biting involved. It just seemed like a real effort for her to eat, and she never looked like she enjoyed food. It looked. It looked like it was. I like, ate with her twice. Same as Fez. How does he have this much info? Trust me, it fascinated me. Are people supposed to have a huge smile after every morsel of food that they consume? Uh, All right, they shouldn't have a huge smile, but they also shouldn't look like they're in agony (laughs) because they ate food. I swear to God, I never saw this before in my life. Uh, And you ate with her every night. Yeah. How? (laughs) How? Did you do it? No, I. The only thing I'll agree is with Fez is she uh, to me sometimes had mouse like traits. But See? I never said a rat eating cheese when she was eating a burger. Uh, look, if she had had a hunk of cheese, it would have looked more natural. <laughs> oh my god! And I didn't just tell me next time. Tell me if anything bothers you. About is there anything me. about Casey you want to get off your chest here before we go through this wedding? I don't think I've ever seen Casey eat. Oh jeez, you won't. <laughs> no woman will eat around you now. That's right. I doubt very much <laughs> any woman will have the ovaries to sit down and have a meal. All right, here's our buddy Mikey Boy. Hey, guys. You know, I, I think Fez has actually been gnarled by uh, Dave's old girlfriend's eating for a long time. Because I can remember, actually, when you had them in with a couple other couples on WJFK, and Fez made the comment that it was the first time he'd ever seen her not eating. And I remember the time I'd never met her. <laughs> girl. Holy shit! All right, this is when uh, we had you in with Solera and Alki, and who else? Chairman and Too Cute. Oh, geez, how we all missed the chairman. Right, those three couples played uh, Honeymooners. To, uh, oh, that's right, yeah. 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 Who won that, Solera? Solera and Alki won with Chairman Too Cute coming second, and of course, Mia Westside. <laughs> No, last, in the way to third. last place. <laughs> Why, was food a category? <laughs> All right, so that stuck out for you, Mikey, when he said that? Yeah, only because I, I'd never met her, and I thought maybe she was a little chubby, and she's yeah. pretty thin. So, right. Yeah, yeah she is. So, yeah. So, so it's some, been something that's been on Fez's mind for quite a while. It's very funny that that bell would even go off for Mikey. Now, Mikey, had you ever seen her eat? Uh, yeah, I ate Chinese food with her once. I don't remember how <laughs> she did Was that. she gnawing and picking the food off the fork in a I, disgusting manner? I, I, I don't remember that. I don't recall it at all. Wow. Uh, Earl, do you pick up on this at all? No, I don't. I don't stand there watching women eat. Like, well, we were at the same table. I know that one day, twice we sat down with you guys. Once was just a dessert. Yeah, once was uh, burgers. Once was ice cream. I mean, you did see us maybe eat at bar nine several times, but yeah, I don't pay attention. Yeah, because that. that's not like a sit down. Right. Everybody's eating together. Yeah, there's music. There's beers flowing, so you're not going to be uh, paying attention to that. Yeah. So I, I can't believe it. that makes it even more incredible that you have this. Did you pick up on it at bar nine? You know, or was it the day uh, we went to that diner? I remember the day it was we went to the diner was yeah. when I went, all right, I can stand no more. All right, but let me even say this, because I remember this day. So we're all going to the diner, which we can't go to anymore because we saw a fucking mouse run against the, across the floor and Fez won't uh, let us go back. Two now. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> so, um, when you were getting the phone, she couldn't find her way around town. She was trying to find a fucking job and couldn't. Yeah. Because how can you find a job if all you have is a master's degree? Right. So, uh, <laughs> he goes, well, we're all eating over here. Come over. Fez fucking looks over at me like, you fucking believe this faux pas. <laughs> that, you know, this is supposed to be buddy's time. And he invited this chick. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. I, I, that's why I, I did feel weird about it, because I thought... You know, now that I think about it, I could tell maybe that you had a weird little well, thing re- going on with her. Another thing I remember being weirded out is that she seemed really put off that you ordered for her, because we all got there first while she was lost. Yeah. And you went ahead and ordered a burger for her. Right. And I remember her her just being really put off by that. Yeah, she was pissed off at me for some bizarre fucking reason. Well, she knew that was one of her rat-like foods and <laughs> didn't want to eat it in front of anybody. Maybe she just wanted a nice slice of cheese. <laughs> just one of those big triangles. Some you, pellets, something. You know, now that I really think about it, the wheels are starting to turn. She, You and her always had something because... She always used to say, Ron's so nice, Ron's so great. And then from coming back from bar nine, and then would always be like, Fess is weird though, huh? 
Yeah. She, Fez, Fez kind of looks at me strangely and doesn't really exude warmth to me or anything like that. So I think I was looking for a tail. It's <laughs> terrible. Terrible. Wow. I mean, nice person. I just don't want to eat at the same table with her. Well, you can't throw in a nice person <laughs> after all this. Because let me tell you, what you said now... That would break up families. <laughs> if someone says that of like about their brother's wife, that you're never fucking going to see that brother again. No. This never would have flown if you two would have stayed together. This would have never been said. Well, if you would have made the mistake of saying to me, Fez, I would have had to bring it up on the air because it's too <laughs> fucking funny and mean. That's why I kept my big mouth shut this whole time and had to have that guarantee that they won't be getting back together. All right. Now, you're going to go see your, your brain doctor today, right? Yes. I want you to point something out to him, though, if this comes up. You're the only one who sees this. It's not so far as I know. Mikey Boy didn't notice. He ate with her. I ate with her. Earl ate with her. So we don't know whether this took place in reality, that she does do this, or you just had so much hidden distaste for her that no matter what she did, you were going to find it to be monstrous. That's interesting. I mm. like the theory, but I always thought I liked her. No, I don't think you did. I, I mean, really look at don't. the things that you're saying about her right now. Oh, yeah, but I mean, uh, that doesn't say anything about her character or anything. Yeah, but you wouldn't say this about, you know, I wouldn't say this about Bush. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right. this is one of the lowest things that I think that you can say, particularly about a woman. Because men, you know, they fucking shove food in, and everyone says you eat like a pig, and everyone laughs. But with a woman, uh, table manners, of, you know. Yeah. And you're saying that she knows, she's on her haunches. It's pretty fucking disgusting. I think any woman would be completely freaked out about this. Yeah, I can understand that. And uh, it's just that, uh, wow, maybe I'm just more sensitive. Guys like you uh, give women body uh, image problems. Oh, yeah, and she had one. Yeah. when After uh, the uh, burger time, I think she saw Fez looking at her carefully. Yeah. And then she, like, refused. She, was, she went on diet. She weighed yeah. 103 pounds. Right. Soaking she, wet. She went on a diet after that. I never, you know, made a correlation before in my life, and I'm, st <laughs> I'm still really, really shocked. You can't put on weight when you just gnaw. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, thanks, Mikey boy. All right. See you guys. Peace. All right. This is very uncomfortable uh, we're getting off to here. And even though you're no longer with her, it seems like you're somewhat defensive, uh, Dave. Um, No, I just I'm caught off guard. And because it's my relationship, too. So in a weird way, it's it yeah. almost hurts me. So it's like you were with a ferret face. <laughs> and you know it and I know it. <laughs> Frank Burns. Or, or we could go nicer and say you're like a mink. Right. Ooh. She was more like a mink <laughs> eating. Well, I don't want any animal comparisons. And I'm I'm over her. Well, chinchilla. Dan, you're on Fez. Hey, Dave, you said she was on a diet. Was that a Reese's Pieces diet? Oh, boy. That uh, E.T. thing. Ouch. Now, so, yeah. E.T. Now, is there any, any problems at all you have with Claire? And I want you to be honest, Fez. Oh, with Casey, the new one? No, Claire. Any other stuff? Oh, any other well, did stuff. Did you see the last one, Claire? Yeah, West Side Claire. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what the hell just happened there. Yeah. <laughs> I got thrown off. Me then too. I thought, do I not know the name? <laughs> any other problems that you have with Claire? Mm, no, no. Am I right with the name now? I'm completely lost. West Side Claire was the okay. former one. And yeah. uh, Casey's this one. Uh, no, it was mainly those eating things. Yeah, I didn't It know. had to be something else behind that. You know, I did. You know, this was long after I picked up the eating thing, but I thought she was a little oversensitive about that joke I made about her at the uh, ice cream place. Well, dog face hurts. I never called her dog face. Oh, well, the intelligence comment. It would have been rat. Well, then remember the time that she sent me the long email because I said fucking Dave was doing his uh, break dancing thing somewhere, yeah. and I go, hey, look who's the center of the tension, Fez. Uh Right, I think actually Fez. Fez said that, not Fez, me. Fez said that. That's why you got the email. Cause I this, see. This goes back to her and Fez having some weird thing. Yeah, yeah, Fez said that, so she goes to Ron. Fez was real mean to Dave last night yeah, at she the wrote bar. Me a long email. Yeah, and then I wrote back. I don't give a fuck what happens any place, anytime. <laughs> so well, 
That might have helped. All right. And no. I also didn't care for it when she really started giving Dave a lot of grief about anything that was happening on the show. Yeah, but the eating was well before, like oh, years yeah. before that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was Unless, really before I mean, that. I mean, it might have happened that way, but he didn't tell us for years later. Yeah, you know. There was um, if I could just say, when I see Fez like say hi to Casey and stuff, the yeah. vibe is totally different. He goes, you know, hey gorgeous, and you say that Fez, hey yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. I never remember saying <laughs> yeah. hey gorgeous. I, I, that's really not a Watley <laughs> way of handling. I yourself. swear to God, I thought it was so cool. Fez sounded and looked like Burt Reynolds. He, he met her outside. What? Burt Reynolds is gay. <laughs> no, on 57th, I swear, I'm not making this up. You met her outside on 57th before we went to um, F.H. Riley's in Long Island. I never remember. Hey, gorgeous. <laughs> How are you? You go, you hug, you hug her. You go, hey, gorgeous. Yeah. And it was great. And, and then I you think... said this, Fez. You said to her, if I told you you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? <laughs> you were working your lines out there on 57th That Street. makes no sense. I yeah. swear that happened, but you would never say that to Claire in a million years. Mike, you're around a Fez. No, I'm not going to say, hey, gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. I, I got to say, Fezzy, you sound the best I've heard you sound in a long time. I think you need to bash more people like this. This is great. We could do Fez's anti-woman vibe. Because if you notice a lot of the news stories that he tries to bring up, it's like yesterday was hideous uh, Lindsay Lohan. Then he does a hideous Girls of the View, which I'm sorry, none of the rest of us watch the view. But every day he's got a view thing he wants to talk about. He hates Britney Spears. There's always some woman that to him, and he will use the word, Disgusting. My <laughs> stomach turned. This is the stuff I want you to bring up with your brain doctor today. All right. I'll bring up my anti-woman issues. Yeah. And my theory that they're all stupid and ugly. Could call it Fez's anti-chick roundup. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It doesn't oh. even roll off the tongue. I'm oh. just going to call it Hello Gorgeous. <laughs> I swear you said it. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. That was really, Hello, gorgeous. All right, hold on. Now, uh, <laughs> we got somebody uh, backing Fez up. Here's uh, Mark. Mark, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, guys. I, I was uh, fortunate, I'm fortunate enough, whatever the case is, to w witness the Claire eating as well. I got a terrible pet peeve with that, and I met her at the Blue Room the night that uh, the Guns N' Roses concert, and I had some issues sitting across the table from her as well, Fez. She so was gnawing? Yeah, it was strange. Yeah, I, I I didn't know how to describe it at the time. I even told Stugatz about it, and it was it was a tad uncomfortable. All right, so you said to Stugatz, "This is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life." Dave's uh, chick eats like a rat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's out there. It's not just me. I, I'm, you know, now this uh, this surprises me, and uh, Fez, you may not be insane. You may be able to just go back today and talk about your mom once again. I'm not crazy. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, but Mark, you have a problem with women too, right? How so? You don't like them is what I'm trying to... Oh, I see what you're saying. No, they're, they're all right. Some... Okay. Strange. It's very strange. I, I never thought in a million years that she would be considered a rat. She just eats rat-like. Did she exude any rat qualities when, when she wasn't eating? Because I think one time you also made fun of her pants. She tends to scurry. <laughs> no. <laughs> now we're nitpicking. <laughs> now we're just nitpicking. That's her walking. She's in a hurry. She doesn't know her way around. <laughs> She's great and amazed. <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> God, that's vicious, man. That's fucking vicious. So there's nothing you don't like about Casey. It is important. You got to get it out there, Fez, before we do the wedding. Because we can't live like this. I love Casey. I think Casey's great. I think she's a little, you know, she's shy. Oh. And, and sometimes I think it's, you know, I feel like, um, like I can't welcome her enough. I go, I try to go out of my way to make her feel welcome. You're living so in a shy. fucking fantasy world. You never welcomed anyone anywhere. <laughs> Casey, you, I really try. You have never gone out of your way to welcome people. <laughs> Everything I uh, hear from people is always like, is Fez okay with me? <laughs> is Fez all right with me? True. And now he's like, I go out of my way to welcome. Because I know I, she would like to be welcomed by you. Uh, Sean, you're in front of Fez. Hey, Dave, did uh, Claire fuck like a rat? Oh, I don't uh, know. I'm not yeah. sure what that means. 
you know, up on you know, just going like, <laughs> what? Did she have a lot of babies too? <laughs> no. That raw hanging off the loose teddies. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no. She exu very human. Except for the eating, I guess. If you say so. Uh Jimmy. Jimmy Armand of Fez. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, I've got a little boy, he's six years old, and he eats with two hands. I know exactly what Fez is saying. He eats exactly like a rat, and it just drives me insane. I'll find myself reaching across the table and just popping him on the head and just saying, come on, eat normal, you know? It just drives me insane. You've got a retarded rat-like it. son. Don't make a big deal out of it. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> yeah. So it's really the two hands. It's the that, quick nibbles. It's the no. nibbling and gnawing. You know exactly what he's talking about. Yeah, I do. I mean, you can, we, we've known people yeah. to eat like that. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Now, the small bites. I mean, she did. She did leave it, when, like, it. when they leave their food down and you see tiny little rat gnaws on it like someone has broken in during the night. Yeah, it looks like it. Like if she sat down her burger, the bun would look like it had 50 little bites in it instead of like a couple of human bites. Yeah. Uh, here's Sean. Sean, you're on running Fez. Hey, boys, Fez. It's good to have you back. Thank you, Sean. Uh, Dave. What's up, Sean? Did you not say that you used to have Claire call you the big cheese? <laughs> That's very... <laughs> it's all coming together. I see it's sadly ironic. I had no... I wasn't calling her to eat me like a rat. That would be disgusting and not sexually pleasurable. Is that how she used to <laughs> just like a home job would just be like a little null job on the tip? <laughs> well, honestly, she wasn't very. Yeah, she she did kind of give blowjobs. I mean, I, I feel terrible saying this. Go ahead and say it. Little quick licks and little put the mouth over the thing and then take it off. Over the thing, take it off. Never just like put the mouth on, go to the bottom of the shaft, come on up, you know. Just like little quick things, quick things. Yeah, I don't like a fucking dollar either. No, and it was, it was, if anything, a tease when they just. Well, you gotta do the training. The, hey, hey, <laughs> get the fuck on there. I don't know if I can hit anybody. She's too uh, forced. You gotta force them. <laughs> Women love it when you force them down. <laughs> that <Right>. fucking move. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong? Are you too big? Little <laughs> <laughs> huh? no fucking problem there. I don't know if I'm that aggressive. I don't spill some tears. I like a little tears spilled. <laughs> that way we know we're fucking playing in the big leagues. <laughs> Just yeah. fucking gnawing on your dick like fucking rat time fun. It was not good. Was not good head. Ugh, disgusting. She's just Here's too small mouthed. Why is she too small mouthed? Yeah, she did have a very small mouth. Well, you didn't know where to spread her. Spread that thing open. <laughs> you unhinge your jaw. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> yeah. Jaws of life, they call yeah. them. Uh, hey, Mike. Mike, you're on a fez. Hey, buddies. I just want to say, so the way Claire eats is like how most people would just eat corn, but she does it with all food, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, like everything is a corn on the cob. Like Fe Fez is saying that she actually was spinning her burger around the whole <laughs> So the entire outside of the burger was eaten before she got in. That seems weird. And then I knew she got in here before, too, because there was little pellets left all around on the floor. <laughs> all corn. right. And I go, Fez, we got a problem. <laughs> Call the exterminator. George, you're on run of Fez. Hey, guys. Hey, Fez, did you notice when she was done eating, did she lick her paws and wash her face off repeatedly afterwards? I wouldn't have been shocked to have seen it. If She's she a did. Rat. If she the did. The whole family are rats. <laughs> <laughs> you're rats! <laughs> the whole family's rats. They weren't in the mob. I. No. I can't fucking believe you brought a rat around here. That's what fucking gets to me. I didn't realize she was rat like until. Fez exposed her. Fez is disgusted by her. Would you compare my new uh, fiancé to any animal? or I haven't seen your new fiancé eat, if that's oh. what you're going with. Okay. You're never going to see another woman eat. There will never be a woman that will eat in front of you. <laughs> it won't happen. All I'm saying is eat like a human. Wait, I see her eating right now on Pal Talk. Casey's eating. It's very normal to me. Take a look, Fez. Maybe you find it a little rodent-like. Chew that, baby. Yeah. Keep chewing, my baby. Chew. What's that weirdness? That's how I talk to her. Really? Yeah, keep like chewing. Like a fucking lunatic? 
guy. I think she's having Funyuns. Up. <laughs> it looks fairly normal to me. Fairly. Chew it. Here's uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, you're on running Fez. Yeah, I just wanted to warn Dave to keep her out of the attic. She might uh, so ruin your air ducts. And also, uh, she chewed through his cable. That's why he can't get right. cable in that apartment. I see. Yeah. More rat comments. Mm. I was just worried about getting the plague at the restaurant. Oh. Uh, Mongo, you're on running Fez. Hey, guys. Uh, welcome back, Fez. Thank you, Mongo. Yeah. Dave, uh, when she put on makeup, was there a guy with a lab coat taking notes? <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't a uh, rat. Lab rat. Does rat. that shampoo sting your eyes? Let me know. I can't vouch for her on that. Very uncomfortable. I know. What's the latest on your wedding? Have we talked with Wiki? We have discussed things with Wiki, mm -hmm. and he's gung-ho. He's full steam ahead. Me, on the other hand... I'm getting the the shits every uh, morning and night. You're from, a nervous wreck? From nerves. Every night. What are you nervous about, Dave? Just doesn't feel... I mean, all of a sudden, I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. I feel like I'm a runaway train. It's perfect. You're lining up a divorce. No, I don't. You're finally growing up. I love my chick very much. I just... Everything... It's too soon. If all of a sudden, I'm starting to think. It's too soon. Three weeks away. Back out. I can't. I don't want to. What do you mean you can't? I couldn't do that. I could never do that. I couldn't hurt her like that. And I don't, I, I want to marry her. It would be the best thing ever happened if, no. you, if you got out of her life. <laughs> no. I want to be in her life. I just, you know, sometimes I think, well, maybe she's... Too good for you? Yeah. That's, that's the what way. I was thinking, too. That's the way to break it down. Yeah. She's, what, I would say this, way too good for you. Right. Okay. Yeah. You need some uh, advice... You need to um, to really. We need somebody to be able to come in here and talk. To I'd you. appreciate advice from anyone. Yeah, I I need some guidance here. Here's you really got you, the nerves. Here's who you need. Okay. A big A. Oh, a big A. Already rocking a new K Rock hat. Way to be sporting that, Big A. Big A, always on the cutting yeah. edge. Oh, big A. <laughs> and <Stylish. laughs> that's free. Big A. Move in the alternate lifestyle. The latest trends, Big A. A oh, Big A. Big A, good to see you, buddy. Hey, Ronnie, it's always a pleasure seeing you. And I wish I, I could have came in uh, last week oh. and pitched in because I, you know, I felt really bad. A know? Big A! Generous Big yeah, A. Yeah, but he didn't show up. Oh, look at this picture of this rat. Mean Big A. You know, you know who said that? Who? Oh. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> I love Casey. Say that again, Fez. I love Casey. Thank mm. you. Let's see how long that lasts. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you still say that's about the last one. Uh, Big A, we got a problem here. What's the problem? Uh, well, uh, Ron? Dave and Casey are getting married. Right. And Dave is feeling... A little nervous, a little scared about this whole thing. Mm -hmm. What should he be doing? Uh, what should we be doing? Um, I think he needs you know to calm down and you know try to have uh, fun with it. That's the advice. Oh, so wise. Big Try to have fun. Big A. Always short and sweet, Big A. <laughs> Dave, does that make you feel better? That does calm me down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. that I mean, is good. So I just have to step back and relax mm -hmm. from it, yeah. is what you're saying. Definitely. I, 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 mean, I mean, I mean, I think you're over... I mean, honestly, Lee, Dave, I think, you know, uh, uh, of course, it's, you know, it's a lot of jitters, and, and of course, you know, it's, you know, nerve-wracking, but also, of, uh, 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 you know, Casey's a beautiful lady, and, you know, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and I think the marriage, everything will be great. Oh, yeah! What advice is that? 
season of the future, Big, Big A. A. So confident, Big yeah. A. Yeah. So you're <laughs> saying I should see her beauty but. and <laughs> see her beauty reflected in myself. That should help my own self confidence. And not, yeah, and not worry so much, you know. Oh, Big A! Don't worry so much. This is the great marriage <laughs> advice. Chilling like a villain. A oh, Big A. So, so maybe I should concentrate on the present. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Just don't run yeah. myself crazy. Uh, Living in the moment, yes. Big A. That's right. Well, thank you. What about all his worries about responsibilities and being able to provide for a wife? He just told me. Oh, uh, well, actually, uh, of all the responsibilities, uh, uh, hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully, he'll work it out. Hopefully he'll work it out. Good yes. stuff, Big A. Oh, it's awful. Making everybody feel better about themselves. A Big A. A Big A. Sage Big A. Big A. Wise man. Big A. Dr. Phil Big A. <laughs> Dr. Phil Big A. As a matter of fact, uh, Big A can answer any of uh, advice that you need, and, and as you ask your advice, then we'll send you off to the big ass prize closet to pick up some prizes. 866 Ron Zero Fez. 866 Ron Zero Fez. Time to get some advice from Big A. Fezzy, do we have some like advice music we could be playing? Something to let people know how smart Big A is? Let me see if I can find something. Thank here. you. That could be like radio. From that point on, we'll be doing like a radio show. With production values, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, Earl, what kind of stuff do we have in the Big Ass Prize Closet? Um, we have the new Patti Smith CD, 12. Mm -hmm. We also have Solomon Burke CDs. we got a uh, bunch of things. Any DVDs? Um, we do have the uh, Inside the Actor Studio DVD as well. Do I have one of those? Uh, yes, I hooked you up. I don't think I do. If not, I like to leave it another one. All Just right. so I have two. Okay. In case one falls. In case uh, you know, I get drunk and throw one out the window. I got another one. All right. Uh, here is uh, eight six six Ron Zero Fez. Eight six six Ron Zero Fez. Here's uh, Jay. Jay, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What can big we do a. for you? Big A. A big A. Big, big A. Big A, I think I might have a suspicion that there could be a sex tape out there that was from my wife's past, you know, maybe before oh. I got hooked up with her. Yeah, we were talking about this the other day. Uh, we'll send you into the big-ass prize closet, Jay. Uh, if there's a sex tape of your chick out there, uh, would you leave her? How would you handle it, Big A? Well... Actually, I would not leave her. I would, I, 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 you know, what happens in the past, you know, happens in the past, and not like you know, you know, she's cheating on me or, um, uh, definitely wouldn't you know leave her. I would give her the benefit of, you know, of the doubt that anything that has happened, you know, in the past. Is in the past and a know. big A setting up a timeline. Big A, very faithful. Big A understands our calendar. A big A, trustworthy. I didn't get any of that. Uh, Rob, Rob, you're on the run of Fez. What do you got for Big A? Hey, buddies, Big A, I got a problem. Yeah, I got a really hot girl on the side, but her boyfriend is on a radio show, and they're supposed to be getting married, but she doesn't want to do it. What should I do about this? You know what? You're not even going to the prize closet. I'm not going to let somebody sit here make disparaging remarks about our redheaded boy. That's right. He's having uh, a lot of problems. Thank you. Uh, here is um, uh, here is Clint. Clint, you're on the Run of Fest show. Hey, uh, Big A, I got a problem. Uh, my girl is a little overzealous in the bedroom, and I'm kind of not sure how to handle it, how to calm her down or satisfy her. Any, any advice? Mm. How, she's a little uh, nervous, a little excited in the bedroom. How's he uh, settle her down? <laughs> Line eight, send him into the big ass prize closet, Earl. What does he do, big guy? Um, uh, 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 I guess uh, he has to um, 
you know, talk with her and, you know, and teach her and, and, um, and, and have her, of uh, uh, kind of behave, uh, uh, not really behave, of of kind of you know, you know teach her and school her in uh, how uh, uh, he wants it or or how um um uh, 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 I mean how he wants it and how it makes him happy. I mean. Giving out instruction, a big A. That was an answer? Just a little patience, big A. Gentle teacher, a big A. A big A. Big A. Such a sage, big A. Oh, uh, Paul, Paul, you're on uh, the Ron and Fest show with the wise man. A big Paper A. Paper or plastic? Paper or plastic, big A. Um, uh, um, uh, plastic. A big A! Friend of the trees, a big A. Wasted no time with that one. Big A. I'll <laughs> uh, step into the big S prize closet. 866 Ron Zero Fez. 866 Ron Zero Fez. Finally, Fezzy, we got somebody on the show who's ready to talk to the common man. Explain to people how the world works. So far, the only advice we've gotten is use plastic grocery bags. A big A. Big a. Friend of the environment, a big A. Uh,. Here is Scotty. Scotty, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Go ahead, Scotty. Hey, uh, Ronnie Fezzy, uh, big A! A big, big A! a. Uh, more questions about the bedroom there. My wife uh, doesn't uh, allow me to do anal, never has done anal. How do I go about slipping it in, if you know what I mean? Oh, that's an interesting one, big A. Uh, How's he uh, take the, uh, the elevator to door number two? Yeah. Um, uh, Come on, big guy. Um, 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 I think what you have to do is uh, you have to um, uh, get her used, you know, to maybe uh, put a couple digits in, you know, just get her used to it. A big A. Start with a little finger fucking a big A. Using the pinky, big A. You really think that's going to work, Big A? <laughs> Slip in a couple I, digits? I don't know if... I don't know if... in this case, can I back Big A up on this? <laughs> I don't know does that help you out? Oh! Oh! Boom, boom, bam! Burn! A Big A! Hey. A Big A ain't Claire can defend himself. A Big A! Big, big A, you keep those hot up bung fingers away from me. You took that one up the ass, Fezzy. <laughs> Thanks to a big A. Oh, yeah, big A. You got finger bang by the big A. Beating up on two stents, a big A. Uh, here is, um, well, I'm not going to do that. That's, again, against uh, our David. Um, here, uh, here's Brian. Brian, you're running Fez. Hello, guys. Yeah. Hey, big A, I wanted to know, how can I get my girlfriend to stop stealing stop signs? Good one. She's been stealing stop signs, Big A. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, 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 try to find out uh, why she does. I, I mean, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know. Try to find out why she's doing it. Yeah. And then what? <laughs> they, they correct the matter, I guess. You know. Big A. Dr. Freud. Why not just more fingers in the ass as advice? <laughs> the hell is that? Because uh, this advice makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. You know what? People steal stop signs out there. Somebody could get killed. We don't have to worry about that because we have a big A. Big A. Traffic <laughs> conscience. Big A. <laughs> Earl, whatever uh, happened to you being part of the show? You ever uh, miss that? You ever miss leaving the show along? Uh, here's... Um, Here's Steve. Steve, you're on running first. Big A. A big A. Hey, I got my fiance's little girl's a brat. What do I do? Fiance's little girl's a brat, big A. How's he handle that? What does he Ooh. do? Come on, big A. <laughs> Ready made family, big A. 
uh, uh, you have to, you know, to learn uh, to get uh, 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 along with you know uh, of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of the kid. Um, uh, 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 trust me, I know it's not easy, but you have to you know get to. You know, used to it, and also, and also, you kind of knew, you know, uh, you know, about it going in. You know, so it's not like uh, I was, you know, surprised or anything. I mean, you know, kind of, uh, you know, knew about it going in. So, you know, try to make the best of the situation. A big A, family oh, counselor, man. a big A. How does that help? Love Live with that. it? Yes. <laughs> Live with it is the advice. That's true, because it's a family. And what do we do, Fez? We live with our families. Love thy children, big A. a. Live, love, learn. A big A. Wisdom. Nothing seems to st- uh, stop you, big A. It seems like you know so much about so many different things. How did you uh, come up with all that? How were you able to find out so much? Uh, uh, I guess you know, just you know, living life and you know and knowing a lot of friends and yeah, you know, and, and I guess the wisdom just comes. Big A, big a. Yeah. traveling around like kung fu. A big A, school of hard knocks. Big A. Then came Bronson. A big A, street smarts. Big A. Jack Kerouac on the road, a big A. I wish he was on the road. Dean Moriarty, a big A. You know, big A, uh, Fez and I ran into a friend of ours yesterday that we haven't seen in a couple of weeks named Melinda. And she hasn't been able to listen to us because she stopped on her radio. How do we get her back a big A? What date do we have to wait for? Uh, June 15th. A big A! Light at the end of the tunnel, a big A! That's not wisdom. <laughs> Positivity, it's just big a, a. It's just knowing a date. Celebration day, big A. Yeah, we seen her out on the way to the uh, park yesterday. <laughs> then we seen the, the other, uh, we seen Hope. On the other end of the park. Fez and I had like a walk. We're like Alice in Wonderland. We're just bumping into people we know in Central Park. Weird. It's yeah. very odd. Yeah. And then I thought, uh, Melinda, I'll be up to something, huh? <laughs> with Ed. Did we walk in? She's like, I miss you guys. <laughs> they met in the middle of the park like Wall Street. <laughs> You know what you did to me? <laughs> Melinda punches. That was my favorite thing. And I always walk across the Great Lawn like that. Is that Sheep's Meadow or Great Lawn? Which one is that, Earl? Uh, I thought it was Great Lawn. So Which I, uh, is yeah? Because Sheep's Meadow is further up, right? Yeah. So it was the Great Lawn. Sheep's Meadow is where they did the concerts. Yeah, that's what he used to, um, the last big one they had, I think, was Dave Matthews. The thing is, I get confused about which is the meadow and which is the lawn because they look exactly the same. Yeah, it's just a big open spot. Uh, boy, all right, here we go. Um, here is uh, Eric. Eric, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, Ron. Hey, Fez. Hey, Big A. A Big A. Big A. I just had a question for him. Uh, last week, about a week or so ago, I had a heart attack, and uh, my human piece of garbage friend took me to the emergency room, mm. and he left me there. Should I salvage this relationship? Very interesting. I'm going to send you to the Big Ass Prize Closet. That's finally a good question. I like this. Now, can you answer that question, Big A, without using the N-word, if you could? <laughs> because I can't. Personally, I can't. Big A, what should he do about his friend that just left him at the emergency room without taking him in? What should he do? Should he get back together with that friend, Big A, or forget all about him? Uh, I think he should get back together and you know, try to give him another chance. Because everybody uh, uh, should get a second chance. A big A! A guy with a heart attack 
is wrong. A big A. I hate this advice. Quite surprising answer that time, big A. A big A. Look it out for Earl. A big A. Thank you, big A. <laughs> Truly doesn't like this. Here is uh, Eric. Eric, yeah. you're running Fez. Yeah, uh, me and my wife expecting a daughter in two months. We're trying to decide between Bailey or Emma or Fez. Oh, oh, oh. Definitely not Fez. Oh! Boom by the boom! Oh, so wise, so clever. 2 and 0, oh, a big A. <laughs> knock, knock, punch, punch. <laughs> big A. Knock, knock, punch, punch. <laughs> 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 heard of that? No, no. All right, what no What's a good name for a little girl, big guy? Um. Oh, uh, actually, Emma's a nice name. Emma, a big A. Going old school, a big A. Poet's name, big A. Well read. Literate, big A. It's even a little British, a big A. <laughs> you know, it's so great having somebody around here who thinks outside the box. That's where, <laughs> no offense to you, I notice you do a lot of your thinking inside the box. What does that even mean? You know how, like, your, your thinking is always box-like? No. But, and then when Big A thinks, look, here's you in the box. Right. Big A's out here, outside the box. I mean, he can't fit in the box. You know what's better? What? Outside the box, see? Why is that better? <laughs> Who decided that outside the box was better? We do all our work in the box. More now room. why is outside the box better? More room, Big A. A Big A not mm. stuck in the box like a coffin, a Big A. <laughs> Lots of space. Here is, um... Geez, let me go through some of these. All right, here is Mark. Mark, you're on Fez. Hey, what's up, buddies? Yeah. Uh, I met this really hot chick, and I'm kind of, eh, say so, but I have a bad, bad coke problem. Do I keep the girl or get rid of the coke problem? Oh, good one, big guy. The girl or the coke problem? This is the oldest question in the book. What do I keep up? My coke-like ways or the love of my life? Um, um, I, would, uh, I would say keep the girl uh, and uh, drop coke habit because you know, I really, really did drugs. And I, uh, uh, so that's... Uh, uh, I would say keep the girl and drop the coke habit. A big A! I just say no, a big A. Damn it. That was my <laughs> great you advice. Got, you got another one? Romance, silver narcotics, <laughs> big A. Yeah, you could have used another one. <laughs> you could have used <laughs> And Earl's got nothing today. He can't jump into the mm. show. Earl, Today, Earl is killing me worse than cholesterol, stress, and heredity. <laughs> well, I swear. <laughs> That's the fourth, is Earl. There's just a picture of him. Now, uh, the other thing uh, with Earl that is a problem, Fez, is that's in the box thinking. That little box, the producer's <laughs> box that he's in every day. Now I understand why it's bad. Yeah, now you get it. So wait a minute, what are your big problems for your heart attacks, Fez? Heredity, what? Heredity, stress, and cholesterol. And that's your three problems? Mm, yeah. So heredity, you're, it, there's nothing you can do about that? No, no. Stress... You got to learn to calm down. Exactly. And cholesterol, change your diet. Change my diet, stay on the medication. Um, I have some really stubborn cholesterol, as it was told to me last time I was in the hospital. What's that mean? Like, it's even with the medication. medication some of it, time. Some of it that's <laughs> like lodged time. in there is still kind of hard to get out. That doesn't make sense. I don't know how <laughs> you get things lodged in. With uh, cholesterol. I think it was explained to me in the utmost simplest of terms. Yeah, like we would say to, like, to a baby. Here's all you need, Fez. Remember, every morning, when you wake up, start to walk slow. Know that once again, it's medication time. Mr. Cheswick, medication time. 
Did you tell them that you want your cigarettes? I want my cigarette. I don't want his cigarettes. I want my cigarettes. Medication time, Mr. Cheswick. Medication time. I'm not Mr. Cheswick. Randall Patrick McMurphy. One of your favorite uh, movies, Dave? Absolutely. Yeah. Based on what? Every single character in that film is totally golden. I mean, forget about Nicholson. We all know that that's an insane part. But the cast is incredible. You know who was uh, supposed to do that first? Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas owned that, uh, rights to that for a long time. Didn't happen. Then I think there was talk about Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds may have even turned it down. Yeah. And then the other name that came up, James Caan. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, like, you talk about, like, Mr. You know Harding. That guy was incredible. How come we didn't see him in any other movies? Because how many times do you need a retard in a film? <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about my life, Taper. <laughs> I'm talking about God, the devil, hell, heaven. Can't you see? Finally. See, the two of you the other day. That's made... peculiar. <laughs> oh, that's peculiar. <laughs> and then they, those two guys start cracking up, and he goes, see, the two of you, you made some illusions. Not illusions, illusions. I'm a little two minutes, it's already seven minutes. Exactly. So what, where do you get the two from, Earl? Well, and Earl, I don't want to go with that song you brought up, because I don't need anything to bring it down. I need a little more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I need a mean. little more energy. Now we're not doing any more big A questions. We've done enough, and he was fabulous, and everybody loved him for it. Right. Everyone thought he was just fantastic. Oh, big A, big A, big A, rocking the K Rock, big A. <laughs> <laughs> I know this morning I was hanging out with my good friend Jimmy, or Jimmy Fallon. Oh, really? <laughs> a picture with him and hanging out with Jimmy Fallon. How'd you two get along? I heard oh, Jimmy Fallon good. busting your balls. He was making fun of you, doing an impression of you. I don't think so. Jimmy Fallon? Yes. Is now doing impressions of Big A? Yes. Yep. Whoa! Big A! That's not, that's not good. Success, Big A. Jimmy good. Fallon just doesn't go around doing a uh, uh, impressions of anybody. Jimmy Fallon does presidents. <laughs> Movie people, big A.